Seven years ago this very night His sole friend and business partner died Jacob Marley, dead as a doornail Scrooge the sole mourner, a very cheap funeral Now Scrooge he looks ill Thin blue Turbo the snail I'm gonna save this right off the gate. I've effectively been blackmailed into making shit. I don't give nearly enough for fuck to make this my own volition because I simply don't care enough to do so. Film was boring, film was shit, what more is there to say? However, I don't really think that I'll be let off this easily, so I'm begrudgingly here today to talk to you about a wank film about snails. Is this rubble? It was just a little warhol. Just a stay loose. You know how I feel about that, Bob. Darn you, we can't blow cover again. Turbo was a film released in 2013 by DreamWorks Animation Studios to a relatively middling critical acclaim. On the Rotten Tomatoes website is listed as comedy, which I find rather interesting, as it is not comedic even slightly. The critics' consensus says that it's nowhere near as inventive as it is off-the-wall premise might suggest, but Turbo boasts just enough colourful visual thrills and sharp voice acting to recommend as undemanding family-friendly fare. Speaking for voice acting, Turbo does boast a pretty solid voice cast of celebrities, featuring Ryan Reynolds as the titular role being Theo the Snail, Snoop Dogg as Smooth Move, and Samuel L. Jackson as Whiplash, to name just a few. Personally, I think that for voice cast is actually the strongest point of the film, and it's better than the plot, at least. Okay, so this is all a favour, I'll try and keep this fairly brief. A snail idolises Racer Dude, whose name I cannot pronounce, and wants to be just like him when he grows up. This terrestrial pulmonate gastropod mollusk dreams big. He wants to win the Indianapolis 500, but is told that he can't because he's a snail. And then when, after lots of totally epic misadventures, he gets in for race. But oh no, the fucking racer guy is actually a right bastard and he tells Fio to piss off. Then during a the race, they have what is said by movie clips to be a devastating crash. And yeah, I think that's a bit of an understatement, to be honest. <laughs> then the slimy old cunt wins a race, but not after a forced pep talk from all his best mates. Yay for Snail. It's the worst version of Ratatouille. Not much else for me to say, to be honest. It's boring, vapid, and if I see it in the street, I get the rifle out. So did this leave a lasting impression? Kind of. With a budget of $127 million, it managed to gross $282.6 million at the box office. Now this seems good until you remember that the marketing cost is said to have been between $150 to $175 million, and holy fuck was bad. It's one of the lowest grossing DreamWorks films, and they had to take a bloody $13.5 million write down for the shitty thing. Unfortunately though, Turbo is still apparently seen as profitable. If the second one comes out, I will believe it's something unknown. Impact people-wise, I know people like it. My old science teacher does. Impact on me, however, it gave me chronic liver disease. New crispy pretzel chicken fries at Burger King. Crispy crunchy pretzel outside. Tender juicy white meat chicken inside. New crispy pretzel chicken fries. Or try original chicken fries. Only at Burger King. <laughs>